Hi, my name is Lindsay Langford, and I'm the sports dietitian at St. Vincent Sports Performance. And we are the official sponsor and healthcare provider for the USA Football vs. World game. Lindsay, tell us about uh, about hydration pre uh, pre game for these players. Pre game, the biggest thing that you guys need to be focusing on is just making sure that you're hydrated throughout the day. A lot of people will try to cram right before that game and get a lot of fluids in. We need this to be constant, so keep um, just continual hydration. One easy way to know if you're hydrated is just check urine status. You want this to be fairly clear. If you're constantly urinating really dark, infrequent urinations, then you need to work on that hydration a little bit. What types of uh, meals and snacks would you recommend for these players for, uh, for pre-game or pre-practice? Pre-game and pre-practice meals really should compose mostly of carbohydrates. So that's your breads, your pastas, your potatoes. Um, the old carbohydrate dinner is still, still a good idea because that's what provides that quick instant energy. Um, throw in a little bit of protein, let's say it's a sub sandwich, have a turkey sub sandwich, or maybe it's pasta with a little bit of grilled chicken breast on it, something like that. But we do want to make sure that you're getting some good carbohydrates in. What about during the game? How much uh, water or fluids should be consumed during the game? During the game, I would say that it really is going to vary, a, vary a, a really large amount depending on the athlete. I have some guys who may sweat 10 ounces an hour and others that are 30 ounces an hour. So it really varies depending on how much you're playing and just your body type. Um, so to give just quick general guidelines, about 20 ounces an hour is truly what you need. This is a, let's say, two and a half, two to three hour game. We're looking at about 40 ounces. So, Are there any f safe foods that can provide these players with maybe a natural source of energy as a replacement to, say, you know, an energy drink or types of caffeine? Um, I really I do try to stay away from the Red Bulls and things like that. It's a ton of sugar that you're dumping into your body. It's a quick caffeine high, and that's about it. Um, and then you're always looking for that next caffeine high. We need to do this just with whole foods, and it's fueling your body throughout the day. Antioxidants can definitely help, having some of those fruits and vegetables in your diet. And then, like I was saying, carbohydrates, because that's our quick in instant energy source. What, uh, what steps would you recommend a high school football player taking to fully recover from a tough uh, and strenuous game physically? Recovery process is key um, within that 30 minute window. If you've, there's been a lot of research, a lot of hype on recovery nutrition lately and so after that game within about 30 minutes you want to try to get something in. Chocolate milk's been a really popular one. Um, I recommend a rock and refuel which is our official beverage here at St. Vincent Sports Performance. And um, so getting something in with some kind of a protein and carbohydrate is really key. And guys, one more thing to remember that a lot of people neglect is that halftime can be a vital time to get some kind of um, extra energy in. Energy stores will decrease during that game, so halftime, take advantage of the Gatorade. Maybe it's bananas, Fig Newtons. Those are something that's a really good idea to use during halftime. So thanks for tuning in. Hope everybody has a great game out there. This is from us at St. Vincent Sports Performance, the official healthcare provider for USA Football vs. World football game.